the the actual form that you're gonna fill out i will go through the options with you so i'm currently outside the post office the second option is hello 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 i am raf and i'm back with another video for this week this video will be a continuation from my last video i was talking about how you can apply for your provisional license of course we all know how important and significant it is to have that before you even start driving or before you even learn how to drive it's an essential thing that you're gonna need without it end off you, you can't be whipping without your provisional license so go get that if you have not seen my last video please do check it out it will go through step by step on how you can apply for your provisional license as i said on my previous video it should take two to three weeks on you receiving your provisional license through the post when it comes it should look like this this is what it should look like upon receiving your license we're gonna now focus on the next step and that would be booking the theory test and passing the theory test there are two ways you can go about this you could either book in and take some practical driving lessons while revising for theory or fully focus on learning revising and passing your theory test which i went with a lot i felt like i should focus on my theory first before i even booked in any driving lessons i felt comfortable with that but everyone is different everyone is their own individual and what may work for me may not work for you and vice versa so whatever floats your boat whatever your preference is just go for that i just personally knew that going for my theory and doing my theory before i even even touched or called to basically book in driving lessons i felt like that was the main goal that i needed to achieve before doing anything else anything practical i just wanted the theory out and dusted away out of my life so i wouldn't have to talk that in the near future so that's me but enough of me talking, let's go straight into the video on how to book your theory test online. So I'm on Google right now, you can use any search engine you like. I like Google of course. Type in theory test bookings on the top and it should take you through a page where you can see the results. You'd wanna click on the first link, www.gov.uk to book your theory test. Alternatively, you can type in www.gov.uk theory test and it should take you straight there. It's the same link, so click on it. It should take you through the page and through the page you can see all the information that is needed so i'd suggest reading this all um things that you need to take of course you're gonna need your provisional license that you've applied for and you have so then you're gonna need the details from that provisional license to book it bear in mind it is 23 pounds to book your theory test this page should go through all the details on how you can apply and book your test online it's the only way you can apply for it online is the only place you will be able to book your theory test if you need any assistance or help with your booking just scroll down and you should find a link where you can click on and it will take you through steps specific things you will need to book with and provide is your provisional license for its number your debit card or credit card to pay for the test and your email address so that they can contact you if there are any changes and now once you've paid and booked for your theory test now we can start on revision everyone is different so everyone learns differently but there are numerous ways on how to revise for your theory test one of the options is going to your local library or even buying the official dvsa guide to theory the driving essential skills which looks like this this book should have everything you need on how to pass your theory test everything 
traffic signs, moving off blind spots, every single topic that may come up on the test. An other alternative option is downloading the DVSA official app on your tablet or phone, which is pretty good because you can take it anywhere, you can revise anywhere if you're on the bus, if you're walking, if, if you're in bed, when you're waking up, when you're going to sleep, just have it on your phone, you'll be scrolling, reading through all the subjects and topics that may come up on the test, which is something that I would recommend to download because that is the way that I've passed and it is simple, it is quick, and it's easy to learn on that app. But do keep in mind that the app does cost £4.99, just to be exact, but it is completely worth it. It is completely worth it to pass in your test. The third and final option is that if you need more additional support on passing your theory test, if you're struggling on any topics or subjects, Smart Learner Driving School offers one-to-one -one theory with experienced theory people who will help you and guide you through every subject that you may be stuck on or having difficulties on. So I really recommend booking in with Smart Learner Driving School Theory. It is in office or if you prefer to stay at your home, we can provide theory lessons through Zoom. Through Zoom, it is £10 and if you come in office, it is £5 an hour for a theory lesson and one of our tutors will guide you through the test questions and anything that you may need help on. And if you feel like that is not enough, we also offer £50 worth of lessons unlimited for a whole month, which is really good. So do check that out on www.smartlearnerdrivingschool.com. I do really recommend on learning with Smart Learner Driving School with your theory because they really did help me with my hazard perception. I was having struggles with that, I was having difficulties. They offer excellent support. They went through all video clips with me from start to finish. And that's all I'm gonna say. It is a great thing and they really helped me. If you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We do appreciate it. And I will see you next week. The, the actual form that you're gonna fill out. I will go through the options with you. So I'm currently outside the post office. The second option is 